double. A radical thinker on a musical level. Cause suckers wanna stop me and girls wanna kiss. Wherever I go, yo, it seems I can't be kissed. Cause my name is D Nice, but all my girls call me Derek. And and going through my crew, so I guess I don't know what the job is explaining. And also maintaining the fact D Nice is remaining out of skin, no prince. But as a teacher with those beats like this, I know I'm gonna reach you. So now I don't think you should all despise this fact. D-Nice is on the rise, straight to the top like a bubble of water. It's a yeah, man, look at me, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Realistically, not egotistically. Yeah, y'all. Females love me, and they call me D nice. That's that old school shit, yeah, boy. Hey, 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 what's up, world? It's your boy D Shump. You know everybody, favorite baby daddy. You know the words of the street. Now check this out, man. Last night, man, I was up all night last night just watching shit. You know all this shooting in Chicago. Motherfucking kids getting hit, women getting hit, and just so much going on, you know, half of that shit on the news, you know, I'm like, it's just so much going on, right? Then I was just looking, you know, I'll be checking out some other YouTubers and all this shit, you know, and some people, you know, we tell stories, you know, I try not to get on guys too much. I tell a story and keep it moving. <laughs> now, I don't know what's wrong with my man. I, I kind of liked him at first. You know, I mean, I don't dislike him. I, I think he's doing some wrong shit. I'm talking about my man, King Erna, right? Now, King Erna is a guy from Philly. He got a little YouTube channel like mine. He's probably bigger than mine. He got more people than mine. Guess who this nigga fucking with out of all people? He fucking with this nigga, Alpo. Now, everybody know who Alpo is. Alpo is the nigga that killed Rich Porter. He killed his motherfucking own friend. He killed another nigga in D.C., big-time drug dealer from New York. Went to D.C., big-time drug dealer in New York. Then he told on some motherfuckers. If y'all remember me from the movie uh, Paid in Four, he is the guy Cameron paid in the movie. So um, I don't know why King Ernest fucking with him. Listen, if the people in his own state ain't worried about him snitching, and they ain't tried to touch that nigga. You, fuck that. Stay out of that business, man. You already know this nigga a killer, man. I don't know how you, kid. And then, you know, I don't know what type of background King Garner got or what's going on with him like that. You know, he talk like he about it. He sound more like a Muslim. You know, stand-up guy. I kind of fuck with him. He seemed like a stand-up guy. But that's not his business. Okay, one, video, cool. Two, Maybe. This nigga got about nine, ten videos to the point Alpo called this motherfucker. Now, this is some dangerous shit. This nigga called you, fam. That means he done felt you already. You not hard to find. And most real niggas, a lot of niggas do their YouTube channel. They turn the camera toward the TV and they sit back here and they because they scared. They don't want niggas to see their face. A lot of niggas. That ain't scared. We show our face. King Erna obviously ain't scared. He shows his face like me, you know. Just pay attention to some of these channels. Mostly real niggas, they show their face. A lot of these other niggas, they don't, right? Now, check this out. I don't know how King Erna thinking, but he, man, really should pay attention to what the fuck uh, I'll portray him. Look at this goofy ass little nigga. Man. Look, man, the man called the man. Let me see. I had to pull this shit up again. I had it set up, man, my little, little boy in here. He fired already, y'all. King earning an Apple phone call. 
Listen to this phone call, y'all, and tell me if you think this is a motherfucking threat or not. A nigga call you, nah. King Erna, I don't know what the fuck he thinking. You know, I really don't know what he thinking. Did they hear me? King Erna and Alpo phone call. So, right. <laughs> nah, I don't know what, I don't know. I don't know what King Erna thinking, right? A motherfucker called you, right? And uh, you know this nigga a killer. And he said, man, when we meet, that's it. <laughs> Listen, man, he can't say, I'm going to kill you when I see you. Motherfucker tell you when we meet, that's it. Listen, man, I wouldn't meet that motherfucker nowhere. And if I did, I'd shoot him as soon as I see him. This, Listen to this, man. Y'all tell me, do y'all think this a threat? This, this Apple and King Ernie. That's how I feel about that. The only way we can come to an understanding on that is if we able to let the youngers know the truth, man. You know, a lot of stuff, that a lot of stuff was promoted, like, you know what I mean? I just lost my mother and my sister. So I'm going to give you my word. I'm going to give you, on the same week, I lost my sister one week, my mother died the next week. So I'm going to let you know, sir. I really don't give a fuck about that. No more. But I'm going to let you know this. I'm realizing. Okay, me? That's it. No bullshit. No nothing. I just want to talk to you first. Give you understanding, and then you can have a better. Because what you're getting, what you're getting, it ain't right. I'm going to give it to you 100 because I'm walking my truth. Listen, we can be in the hall. We can be in the priesthood. I just want to give you understanding so we can stop all these videos, stop all this bullshit and all that. Just let it be what it is. Okay. Now, tell me, do you think that was a threat? Nah, he talking about, man, I just want to talk to you in person. You talking to me, nigga. If you got anything to say to me, say it now. What the fuck we need to meet for? He want to meet you so he can put his hands on you, King Erna, in case you don't know. I don't know what type of nigga you is. That's a threat, nigga. A motherfucker killer tell you, man, when, he, when we meet, that's it. Nah, he can't say when we meet, I'm going to kill you, nigga. Everybody know he a killer. Police probably tuning in. He, so he didn't say that. He said it how he wanted to say it. You should have been reading between the lines, nigga. Don't meet that motherfucker nowhere. Nowhere. Stop making videos about him. Let him go on with his life, man. The man got issues on his own, man. You know that shit probably bothering him. When you had to kill one of your friends, man, I mean, think about some of the shit y'all probably done did. It's probably people been killed for less shit than he killed his partner for. He killed his partner for big money, man, you know, that he was beating him out of from his side of the story. So, I mean, I understand it. I don't agree with it, but I, okay. You know, I, I, I know a situation that happened like that. That type of shit happened in the dope game. Niggas get crossed, and you cross the wrong motherfuckers, and you meet your demise. That's what happened. He a good hustler, bad friend, wrong motherfucker you really want to cross if you ain't ready to drop him. He done knocked off killers and everything. You know, niggas was planning to kill him. He beat them to the punch, you know, so that's the type of nigga he is. So, you know, then he got kids out here doing it, and... uh. I'm not sure, right? He got a son named Alpopo, right? Alpopo is his son. He a rapper. He coming up in New York. And I think he said Cardi B was his sister or something. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to go. Don't quote me on that. I'm going to have to go back over. But he know Cardi B because they both blood, so they from the same little hood. So Cardi ain't never said I won't say she'll say Alpopo's her daddy, so I don't know that. Uh I don't know. I think this they related through blood sets. You know, I think they from the same set. That's what the connection is. I'm gonna have to go revisit the Alpo Po video and see what he said about Cardi B. My boy interviewed him too, the one I was talking about the other day, Zach TV. He was in New York. When I was telling y'all he was in New York, that's who he was interviewing. Zach was interviewing him, Alpo's son. Alpo got another son. Uh, I forget his name, the light skinned nigga. And he he don't even really like claiming 
Well, he, I don't say he don't, he don't have no problem with his pops or none, but he knows a lot of heat come with that. And, you know, niggas be trying to talk slick. They won't say none of this shit to Apple Face. But they'll say to his son or somebody else, oh, your daddy is snitch. Man, your daddy is snitch. If y'all thought he was a snitch or such a weak motherfucker, why ain't nobody touched him yet? Because you pussy ass niggas scared. Y'all know he, he know to keep it on him. He know to keep it on him. You know what I mean? So And, and you know he go use it. <laughs> you know he go use it. But if you listen to a lot of him stories, he ain't pull no triggers. He orchestrated a lot of them hits. You know, being the boss, he hit him. Hit him. Two, the two bodies, he claiming another nigga macked him. So he wasn't even the shooter. He ordered the hit of another motherfucker. Okay, but that's still a body. It count. Because you had to sanction that. You know, sanction generals do every day. You know, it's, uh, it's a hell of a thing when you have to decide who live and die, man. You know what I mean? And we had to make decisions like that every day. Man, should we kill this nigga or should we just beat him up or should we, you know, that type of shit. But I will say this to King Erna, man. Leave that nigga alone, man, and stop fucking with him. Okay, you made one video, cool. But like the other little YouTubers say, that's what brought it to my attention. King Erna got about nine, ten videos about Alpo, and I'm wondering why is she so obsessed with this nigga? You know, when I do one story about a motherfucker, I'm going to tell the story and I'm going to keep it moving. If I had to do another, I don't like having to do no retract. Only way I'm going to do another story about a nigga if I got something wrong and some people call it on, call me on it. Like I had one video, right? I had did about King Von. The motherfucker told me that he caught the case in uh in Chicago. I'm like King Von went back to jail. He was locked up in Chicago. Nigga hit me up like man King, take that shit down, fam. He got locked up in Atlanta. So I traced the shit. I'm like, damn, he right. You know what I did? I took that motherfucking story down. Cause I trust my my followers on people. If they tell me something, I fuck with y'all. If y'all subscribe to my channel, you say shrimp, man. Take that shit down, dog. You wrong with that. I'm gonna take it down. If I can verify your facts better than mine, hey, you win. You win. I'm gonna take it down. Cause I'm a real nigga. I don't want nothing up that ain't right. Okay, I might get something wrong, you know, say a name or something wrong. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Because we all surfing the net and getting these stories from us. You might get a false lead from somebody else. You know, like it was another kid I used to follow and get a few stories from him. Till I found out he was using clickbait. This motherfucker, man. <laughs> this nigga would make up a motherfucking story, man. I'm talking about this nigga have you thinking Michael Jackson was finna kill Prince. And you be like, when this shit happen? I missed that. And you be looking at this shit and you go on and say, this shit never happened. But he didn't got damn near 9,000 views off that shit. Because everybody want to see Prince was going to kill Michael Jackson. When the fuck did that happen? You know what I mean? You, you want to hear some shit like that. You be like, Drew Hill and New Edition got into it? What the fuck that happened? You <laughs> he had you jumping out the window, man. I'm talking about this motherfucker was crazy, man. This motherfucker, Wally the Great, boy, that motherfucker. He want to be a rapper. He a motherfucker. Hispanic somebody. Black Hispanic. He hardly can speak English, man. But the but the but the Oh, it's looking kind of shady over here. I'm going to keep on track of this news, people. You ain't keeping track of no news, nigga. You making it up. And my other little nigga, Zilla from the 615, where you at, fam? Zilla used to be on his ass. Zilla stayed on his ass. Zilla like, we got to get this nigga the fuck out of here. He said, I want y'all to get him out of here. Y'all get him the fuck out of here. Zilla can't stand that nigga. <laughs> What's up, Zilla? Zilla say he don't like that nigga, man. I watch Zilla videos too, y'all. That's my other nigga down there. Zilla from the 615, we said, I'm just corny ass nigga, Zilla. <laughs> It's a lot of YouTubers out here good, y'all. Y'all got to start checking some of these cats out, man. G Shrimp ain't the only cool motherfucker. I know I'm about the coolest motherfucker, but, you know, it's all right. You know, I can toot my own horn, beep, beep. It's all right, you know, if you toot your own horn there. Nah, then, because, you know, man, I'm talking about, man, I got clothes on my shit now, nah, man. Uh, YouTube is a 
been contacting me every motherfucking day. They send me shit like, man, you you did so good last month. That's because, yeah, I, I've been here more. I've been able to make more videos and more videos I've been making. The viewership is going up and up and up. I'll be monetized by next month, y'all. If y'all keep subscribing, man, y'all keep subscribing. We'll be monetized, man, by next month. That's a good thing. We at the money, man. We, we right here, y'all. We right here. And when y'all see them motherfucking yellow dots come down there, baby, that's money. When you see a YouTuber with yellow dots under his shit, that means he's getting paid. When they start getting commercials and shit in between the videos, they're getting paid for that. And you can put many of them motherfuckers if you want on there. If you got an hour-long video, you can put 15 of them motherfuckers on there. You know, however, uh, don't don't overdo it where a nigga can't enjoy the video. I ain't going to do that. I might throw three, four on there, depending on I might stack my money up now. Eight, nine. You know, in the beginning, boy, you might have 12 of them motherfuckers on that, man. But I, I'm going to let y'all watch the video, man. I might do them two at the end, you know. You know, I'm going to chop it up. I might do two in the front, two in the back. But, you know, that's how I'm going to do it, man. But back to King Erna. King Erna, we out for the fucking long, man, before you come up missing, man. Straight up. You know this nigga like killing motherfuckers and dragging his body through the woods and all that shit, man. <laughs> you already know this nigga. The nigga threatened you, fam. I don't know if you noticed that, man. The man threatened you. He said when we meet, that's it. I just want to talk to you talking to me. Why we need to meet? He won't put his hands on you, dog. That's why. And you talking about, man, I just want the kids to know the truth, man, because a lot of shit was promoted. What the fuck is you talking about? He told the truth. He ain't, ain't nobody else tell us he killed dude. He told us he killed him. And every other motherfucker he killed. That's how he got out of jail. So he telling the truth. What the fuck is he lying about? Only thing he did is snitch on whoever the fuck he told on, man. Okay, if them niggas in D.C. and New York ain't handled that business, you from Philly. Stay out of it. Stay the fuck out of it. I don't give a fuck about a Chicago motherfucker. I mean, a New York snitch. Six nine. I spoke on him snitching, but that's his business. I'm not. I did one story about that nigga snitching. I laughed at it. I said I knew he was gonna tell, but that's them. If New York don't deal with six nine, that's it. I don't got nothing to do with that. We got snitches in our own city. We need to deal with the snitches in your own city. If you got a nigga from your area snitching, that's the nigga y'all need to deal with. If he out of your mob, only reason you need to deal with the snitch if you come out your motherfucking mob. If you come out your mob, it's your problem. Y'all need to handle that. Whoever mob Alpo come out, that's their job to deal with that nigga, not yours. You talk about it, cool. You talking about it too much to the point where you done draw this nigga attention, man. This motherfucker called you, fam. That means somebody gave him your phone number. And if he got your phone number, he got your motherfucking address too. Google is amazing, and they don't give a fuck. Google will give them people your whole goddamn address for $35. You don't believe me? Try it. Type your own name in that nigga and swipe that motherfucking Visa card and watch they give whoop, your whole motherfucking information. I type my name in there sometimes. They give my whole address. Look at this pussy-ass shit. Have the niggas know what... <laughs> I don't give a fuck if nigga know my address because I'm going to keep one of these motherfuckers right there. Nigga can come over here if he want to. You know what I mean? So I'm not worrying about that type of shit. But you should worry about that type of shit if you're not built like that and have the motherfucker know where I stay at anyway. So, but you, I don't know about that. If you want motherfuckers, you know, trying to sneak up on you, you know he's a grimy nigga. And he, he like paying to have niggas hit and. Nigga might just want to do it for the for the attention. You know what I mean? These young boys, they do a lot of silly shit nowadays, man. Nigga might just want to knock you off 10 press out, man. Because they might feel they get some clout by being seen with him. OG, I handle that for you, OG. I handle that nigga for you, OG. I'm in Philly right now, fam. I'm in Philly right now, fam. I got this nigga. He stayed down the block for my baby mama, man. I see the nigga every day at the McDonald's. <laughs> when you go get your motherfucking little coffee and shit, 
You, you feel safe around that because you got a little juice over there? Okay. Okay. Don't think that motherfucker won't slide up on you because you don't know who the fuck these niggas talking to. If he talk to you, he can talk to somebody else on your block. Somebody gave him your number that knew you unless you sent it to him. I don't think you did that because you don't like the nigga. So I know you didn't send him. You're making too many videos about the nigga. You don't like that nigga because you don't even fuck with snitches. That's why you own his bumper like that. You don't fuck with snitches. But fucking with a snitch to get your ass killed, especially this one. You know what I mean? Okay, I ain't saying he no hell of a motherfucker. You, you, okay, if you ain't scared, strap up, bang it out. Do what you want to do. But if you ain't that type of nigga, leave the nigga the fuck alone. Let him go the fuck on. Come on, nigga. Like I said, that's them New York niggas' job to handle him and them D.C. niggas because he fucked around in both of them states. He's supposed to be dealt with for that Apple shit, that Rich Porter shit. They should have dealt with him for that and that snitching shit. He got he should have two contracts on his goddamn head for snitching and for killing him. You know what I mean, Rich Porter? Much as they love Rich. Stop it, man. And if they ain't touched that nigga, it's the reason why. He plug or connected somewhere. And you I'm pretty sure you probably know what it is. Nigga saying what same shit I'm saying, man. Fuck that nigga. Leave that nigga alone, man. Let that nigga go on with his little gun, man. I ain't got time to be looking over my shoulder worry about this nigga, man. So niggas are whether or not have the drama. You feel me? Some niggas will be like, hey, <laughs> he tell on me. <laughs> He tell on me, nigga, look, he killed no motherfucker in my click, so we ain't got shit to do with it, man. Look, niggas will wash their hands quick. I seen it. When I open the heat on nigga, niggas tap out quick. Niggas tap out quick around here, man, when they don't want no smoke. I seen it. That's the same shit them niggas doing. They tapping out. The same shit you need to be doing. Tap out. Can't earn it. Leave that nigga alone, man. It's your boy G Shrimp, man. You know everybody's favorite baby daddy, man. The voice of the street. Hey, check this out, man. Make y'all subscribe, like, man. YouTube said I've been doing real good lately, man. Make sure y'all subscribe and like, man. And go to T Springers, man, and check out my t shirts and my hoodies, man. And I got socks, all that shit. I got the leggings for the women. You got a big ass. I got some jeans for you. Not jeans, stretch pants. Yeah. G Shrimp will look nice on your ass. Like, wow. Bam, just like that. So I done sent it to some of these women, man. I don't know. I ain't sent no clothes to y'all yet because you got to order the clothes online. And I think how they do it is they make the orders. They make the clothes per order. So when you order, they make it and send it to you. So it ain't like I got the clothes here. They're not in my room. You know, I put them up there for y'all to see them. I have to order them myself. So I have to buy your shit and send it to you. I'm not finna do that. Maybe one of my bitches or something, but not. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna buy none of them, no motherfucker. Listen to me, something about damn. I should stop saying that. My girl go kill me. I don't know. Just being a player so long, man. Goddamn, I still talk like I got five, six bitches instead of two. Maybe three. Well, maybe one. I ain't gonna say that. Maybe I should stop saying that. Maybe two. I'm sorry. I said it. Fuck it. But anyway, man, it's your boy G Shrimp, you know, everybody favorite baby. It is what it is, man. You know, <laughs> bitches don't trust nigga no far. They can kick him no motherfucking way. So you can tell the bitch you got another hole. She knew it anyway. You know what I mean? She goes, so, you know, for God, you know you gotta be somewhere. I know you gotta be somewhere. I ain't got no bitch, no. Yes, she do. I know you got a bitch. I know you got a bitch. And when women start looking at your phone and shit, and I tell y'all stay out bitches' phone. Bitches stay out niggas' phone too. You know what I mean? Because stay out, you know? And, you know, I told the story, man. My my girl, I woke up last month. She's in my phone. What the fuck? When we start doing this? This ain't even you. What the fuck? When people feeling getting shit, I'm telling you, boy, <laughs> they'll do some shit they ain't never did before, man. You pull up at your mother. Man, look, man, my wife used to do it to me. I used to be at another chick house. She would come get my motherfucking car and move from one side of the street to the next. And I'll come out and say, she think I'm crazy. She thinks she's driving me crazy. Long as the car out here, bitch, I don't care if you moved it from the left to the right. Man, I'm a whole motherfucking general out here. You think I don't know why I parked my motherfucking car? Nigga trying to kill me and shit. Bitch, you really think I don't know why I parked my motherfucking car? Stop it. Stop it, hoe. 
You think I didn't know I parked my shit down there two cars away from if I had to stop it. When I came out, I looked down there and didn't see it. I looked right on the other side of the street. Look at this bitch. You know what I mean? Sometimes she can't even hardly find a parking spot. And I know she did it because it's halfway in the motherfucking street. <laughs> stop it, man. You know, stop it, man. She boy G Show, man. Everybody favorite baby daddy, man. Voice of the street, man. Make y'all subscribe, like, man, and uh check me out uh on the next video, man. I'm out of here. King Erna. <laughs> Find somebody else to play with, man. For real, before you get yourself killed, man. I'm out of here.